from virtual assistants to self-driving cars, artificial intelligence, or AI, is rapidly changing the way we live. In fact, this intro was actually written by ChatGPT. So what does the future hold for AI, and how valid are our fears of it stealing our jobs, or even taking over the world? AI plays a role in so many everyday things. The likes of Netflix, Siri and Tesla all use it. But it's not just limited to movie recommendations and virtual assistants. It can be broken down into three categories. The first is artificial narrow intelligence. Think Netflix, facial recognition, Siri and chatbots. Then there's artificial general intelligence. When faced with an unfamiliar task, the system is able to find a solution. This is the category that ChatGPT GPT falls under. And then there's artificial super intelligence. We're not quite here yet, but this is when machines surpass human intelligence. The ideas have been around for, for decades and we've seen, as we often do with technology, sort of an ongoing evolution over time. But the last sort of six months or, or so ha has been probably the big turning point for society and that we've been able to recognise what AI's possible, uh, you know, possibilities are. Those possibilities have raised concern, however, among some working in and around AI. In late March, more than 1,000 technology leaders, including Elon Musk, signed an open letter warning that AI presents profound risks to society and humanity. The letter urged labs to halt development of their most powerful systems for six months. Well, there's potentially lots and lots of dangers. So, for example, deep fakes. So that's where it looks like someone is saying something or they've written something and it's very convincing and how do you know that that was from that person or not? Has it been manipulated or just created by AI? That is a real, real issue. One of the main sort of concerns a lot of people have is AI is effectively taking over the world. That is quite a way away but it is a, it is a possibility. My one message about this uh, is that the, the overall technology is not scary, it's not new, um, but also it can be used in very bad ways. Those bad ways are not the ways that people are trying to scare you about. It's not going to turn into Ultron and have magical powers. It's not going to be Skynet and send Terminators back to the past. That's, those are fairy tales. We've got to look and try and uh, look for the things that could go wrong and you know, ad address those, whether it's through legislation or, or whether it's just through uh, appropriate sort of you know, dialogue. But you know, hopefully we, uh, we get in the right direction and, and we're still here for a long time to come. Its rapid development has raised a number of concerns with everyday users too. From privacy concerns, scams and even how it could reshape our education systems after two students were accused of using AI to cheat on assignments. What we have to do at universities is then write um, assignments and questions that can't be used for ChatGPT. So for example what I've been doing and other people have been doing is not just giving them the question, but giving them an answer and getting them to critique what is right and why and what is wrong and why. So it's a different mindset. So whether you're for or against it, AI seems here to stay. The advice to embrace it, work with it and hope that those at the top keep it in check. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.